On this particular truck, I know that the two nuts here are kind of fused together, so it's a package deal. You turn one, you get two, but on any other truck, you would end up taking this outer nut and backing it off and then taking the inner nut and backing that off just as much. But not on this truck. This truck has to be special and different. Uh, yeah, so we're going to start by removing the torsions. That's going to involve... Uh, let's see, my clips? Yeah, that's going to involve pulling these two nuts off and then there's a C-clip here that I'm going to have to turn so it faces me and then I'm going to have to take two screwdrivers with a hammer and knock it out that way. The reason I cut the muffler off, there's some mufflers back there, uh, the reason I cut the muffler off is because it was right here, he couldn't pull the torsion bars out. So in order for us to do what we're going to do, the control arm, you know, replacing the control arm bushings and uh, upgrading to the thicker torsion bars, we have to get these ones out. So I'm going to back this off and make sure, for the life of you, make sure that you have no weight of the vehicle on these bars while you're either tightening or loosening these nuts. Just don't do it. You'll, uh, you'll have a bad time. Also worth noting, when you're uh, doing anything with torsion bars, uh, you want to mark where they were. If you want to keep the same ride height where you were before you started, I would mark a line right here on the frame showing at which angle this uh, anchor is pointing and also measure the end of the threads coming out of the bottom of the nut. That's uh, going to put you back pretty close to where you were when you started but since I'm replacing these torsion bars and everything else to me it's uh, not going to make any difference where I mark these or not because we're going to be starting from scratch so uh, just thought I'd throw that in there for you I'm uh, continuing continuing to undo this it's a pain in the butt since everything's rusty I'm replacing it with all new stuff so that won't be a problem in the future but for now we're going to fight it yeah, I made short order of these since I'm replacing them anyways. I got enough tension off of them that it wasn't an issue. I could actually move them by hand. Uh, but rather than try and unscrew them all the way, I just took the size off, cut them in half. Done. Saves a shitload of time. So that's how it looks without it. So now I just got to get the C-clips out and hopefully this uh, wants to come out. Stage one of... Uh, Removing the torsion bar is loosening and removing the bolts that hold them in right here. I ended up uh, loosening it up and since I know I'm getting new bolts, I just cut it. Once I had all the tension off of it, I cut it. That made it short order. Otherwise, you'd have to back all the nuts all the way back out. But the worst part so far has been getting this uh, snap ring out to get the torsion bar out. The snap ring was positioned like up. So I had to get underneath here and get it to turn and then finally it just naturally popped out because of all the force I was putting on it. So now that that's out, this is what's holding the torsion bar from sliding out. So I'm suspecting we're gonna have a, another fight here of getting this torsion bar to slide out. I'm gonna put a pry bar in here and see if I can get it to just walk it out. But well, torsion bar comes out next. Yeah, so I got the snap rings out of both torsion bars now. Um, and I've gotten the adjusters out of both sides. So those are ready to come out. I just gotta get my big pry bar on them to see if I can get them to slide out that way. Or if I have to remove the lower anchor because I'm not sure if they're seized up in the uh, cross member or if they're seized at the uh, uh, anchor. Maybe I ought to show you on the other side of the truck where the actual light is. Okay. Alright, so the adjusting bolt is now gone. Um, and then up here where the uh, anchor comes through the cross member there's a, a snap ring like a half moon I showed it to you in a, another uh,
clip there. Uh, so this is fully released now. Uh, where I think I'm getting hung up is up here on the uh, lower control arm. Uh, you'll see those two bolts that are like spaced apart here. So there's the bar, then there's these two bolts. Let me get up close here. Yeah, there it is. The bar and the two, uh, well, they're nuts there, but there's bolts inside. And uh, one bolt is captive. Uh, it won't come out until you actually take the lower control arm off. So I'm going to hose those down real quick and let them soak and then bring my big bar with me uh, next time I come out, which is going to be soon. And then I will uh, attempt to see if it's either stuck in this housing or if it's stuck up on that cross member. Either which way it's got to come out. And it's a good thing that I'm doing this because I'll tell you, it's kind of, it, it kind of needs it. <laughs> it's not very friendly. It's not like green. Green was so easy to do because every nut and bolt turned. You didn't have to deal with crusty shit. Um, and I'm not saying that this is absolutely terrible because it's not. It's actually really not bad. But it's, uh, it's, it's there. It's at the, the point where sockets are starting to fit bad and things are taking a lot more energy to undo than you know something that's super super clean so um yeah that's adding a little bit more time to it and normally like even on that frame i had outside i'd be able to uh i just pulled those torsion bars out by hand i had them at exactly the same stage we are at now and uh you know, they just slid right out by hand. These ones here, stuck. So I'm going to uh, attempt to just let them soak for a few days, because I'm not going to be here. I'll let them soak for a few days up front and in the rear, and then see which end's got to go. And if I got to cut the torsions, well, then I got to cut the torsions. New hood installed. It's in primer though, so I'm gonna have to uh, get it painted or paint it myself. I like the flat black. That looks pretty badass on this thing. So I'm pleased with that. That tells me that this is definitely the, the right way to go with this thing. It just makes the front end look so much more complete. The apron, the bumper, the hood, the grill, all that ties in. So I'm pretty, uh, pretty happy with the way that looks. And then combine that with, I just uh, put Pathfinder mirrors on it. I think that looks pretty damn good.